welcome. There isn't too much to say with what happened in the last episode. We did manage to rescue Torahime, figure out that she is no longer alive, and unfortunately have to run across most of the world again, which is what I've done in between this uh, two episodes, because we've already been to, um, well, the dungeon just below where we currently are. And then I noticed this thing, the Cave of Evil, and I was like, you know what? Let's do it. Why not? Toads. Oh, man. It's the toads. So this is where it probably would have been super wise to uh, equip complete poison immunity. Um, we want... Wow. Bloody toads, man. Oh, no. Okay, poison. That's bad. That's alright. Fantastic. Let's do it. Die, toads. There's going to be more toads. They, I think they spawn maybe three or four times. And then... It's probably not wise to to uh, actually do that um, and just go hardcore into one of the sorry it's probably not wise to hardcore use up all of uh, a sword's energy especially when you're in a position where you've already got one down and I don't really feel like using a whetstone so now that we got one sword back that's not too bad yeah okay so we need to get out of here use you uh, we want full and moon. Yeah, look at that. Oh no, poisoned again. Come on, we can make it happen. Ugh. Okay, we need to... So hopefully... Oh, we definitely should have. Yeah, look at that. Oh, no. Uh, we could probably just use up this blade. Um, house spinner, that's what we want. I didn't really want to use another dragon elixir, even though. Oh, well, I've made it. Yep. I definitely think poison, if this fails, which I'm actually going to assume it's going to fail. Because, let's face it, the poison is ruining me. Oh no, <laughs> I got wrecked. So that's not too bad. I think the best thing for me to do is equip the poison immunity, which obviously um, I didn't know going in. Uh, we want clover? No. Um, camper scale? Yeah. That way I can't be poisoned and there's nothing they can do about it. Fantastic. So if I fail it this time, no, I'll just do what I did previously and show off the, the successful run. Which the last time it happened to be, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the actual next run actually, so. Yeah, die little toads. Come on. Die medium sized toad. So I hate to be the one that mentions this, but I am so bad. It didn't matter what I did. I couldn't do it. I tried my hardest and I failed. After about I think it was the sixth round of each uh, the frogs. I couldn't do it. I failed miserably. Um, and that's really all it was. There was just nothing I could do. Those frogs, 
beat me down. There was nothing else to say. I just got ruined. And I wanted to try it, and I failed. I just want shit. But that's alright. That's not the end of the world. Disappointing, 100%. But otherwise... Yeah, I got nothing. Um, tea house, we have money, but I'm not doing it. Um, what, I, what can I get from you? Pessimin is decent. Uh, Pessimin is definitely good. Let's just buy the story out. Um, and change up the item shortcut for... And we'll go... Pessimin. I do have a few items, to be sure, but it is the way it is. So let's see what this uh, user house says. It'd be reckless and foolhardy for a mortal to follow Torahime into pandemonium, even for a master of the Oboro style, such as yourself. But I know how stubborn you are, especially once you've made up your mind. All I can do is pray for your safe return. So that's so. To my understanding, um, pandemonium is the underworld. I don't. It's not really mentioned that often in games, Pandemonium. I think maybe a reference here and there, but I don't play that many games that have ever referenced it. So I have. So the only thing I can say that it is is um, is the um, underworld. But I got. Mm, um, well, I can't believe I missed him. There we go. Perfect. I am pretty close to level. 29, which is not too bad. I have been leveling up my inventory, I should say. Or achieving, no, forging. Yeah, forging's a better word. Better swords. Just because, for reasons. Uh, I have needed to the entire way. Oh, uh, uh, damn, bloody Tengu, man. I can't believe these guys are just so annoying. Never want to stop, but it's alright. I'm really glad I re equipped it, um. What do you call it? Um. The. Bloody. Rosary. Uh. It's the lifesteal item. Bastard. Hopefully I level up from this. Butthole be dead. And I am not level up. Oh, fair enough. Oh, no. <laughs> fair enough. The bonus, that 7 XP, was just enough to get me across the line. 29. And smash. So we're going to Hida. The mountains of Hida. I don't know why we go the through the mountain path. Because we are going... We're not staying here. We're going... Um, as far away as we can. Snow. A ball! Fuck yeah! Do I like balls? Yeah, I do. Because it's free meat and XP. And to be fair, they do give you a bit of extra XP. More than what you're probably expecting. Oh, I shouldn't be jumping. Um, there we go. Pessimin. Um, I can't carry anymore. So I don't know what uh, Yukiana does. What the? So everybody knows what a Yukiana is. Awesome. What buttholes? Honestly. Snowwoman. <laughs> I wonder if there's some hidden reference or hidden meaning to the whole um, um, woman as hard as it are, as cold as ice. Monkey! I wonder why it's the monkeys that lead you here. Gutted. Gutted, absolutely gutted. That's alright. Not the end of the world. Uh, we want to go. We gotta go south, so. Awesome. More snow women. I don't actually know if they, um. They actually can freeze you. Wow, I got a lot of bonus experience. And I'm sort of regretting buying all that pessimism, because I can't even equip half of it. 
sorry, equipped, use. Oh, my use of English today has been horrendous. Oh, uh, we want... No, we wanted to go to the south path. Nah, we've, we've, we've been here and done this before, Larry. Wow, that is mad damage. That was fully sick. Yeah, 23 blades. It's not much, but... Um, there we go. Bronze mirror. Who are we fighting? Ninja. Come on. I'm surprised, um... Ah, oh, lucky. Ah, typical. Got hit, took damage. Broke my weapon. Uh, we might as well make it so that I can actually... Ah, oh, Yuki Yana. You lady are nuts. But you're also done. Man, that's a lot of EXP. That's so much EXP. Ridiculous. Yeah, I knew it. A better whetstone. Cool. Uh, ninja. Seriously. At least the Yuki Ono gave me fantastic um, experience. Yay, the deck. No way. Come on, let me go, let me go. That's ridiculous. Oh. Cabbage. So, I'm probably just going to let myself die. Because reasons. There's no reason not to, because... Um, I mean, I either A, defeat my enemy. Ah, uh, bloody toads. Because I will level up the moment um, I pretty much kill one. Come on. Where is this idol? Nope. There we go. Toad oil. That was hardly worth it. But they're probably going to make me fight him here. Yep, cave dwellings. Body assholes. Oh no, what have I done? Bad move, bad move. There we go. Scroll the master. Ah, oh, and I died. Not even mad, I was sort of hoping for it. There we go, look at that. It was either one or the other. Not that I have any idea what Scroll of the Master does. I actually want to check it out now. What have we got? That actually was the right menu. Scroll of the Master. Increase experience points gain. By 5%. It's terrible, but I'm going to do it. Because, let's face it, 5% may mean nothing um, in the short term, but in the long term, like, if I was going up against a boss, I probably... Even then, going up against a boss, it's worth equipping, because they give the most amount of experience. Um... Wow, this place is rather different to... Oh, seriously? I even got hit from that, and then managed to deflect it afterwards. Wow, seriously? Why are you... Oh, actually... It's probably down here. Nope. Okay. Ooh, found you. Yeah, look at that. So this is not the right way to go. Now I have learnt that. We go back this way. Fantastic. What have we got? Ninja. The thing is I could use... um. What do you call this? A bit of moon. There we go. Oh, 
Uh, seriously, you buttholes. Did I just destroy everybody? <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, fantastic. That's one thing that's definitely annoying the crap out of me is um, not always having a map, not even not always being able to buy a map before going to an area. Would you look at that? Speak of the devil. Hey, old man. Sweet potatoes. Take off your sandals before entering a person's house. The madness of the young people these days are just horrible. You must be famished now. Please take some yams on the way out. I need to be shy. Always listen to your elders. Fair enough, buddy. Map, map, one, two. Ooh, and more. Improve strength by five. Not worth it. So what I could do, oops, wrong one. Because the equipment, not scroll of the master, but the demon ward, but it shortens count of life. You lose 500 HP. Let's do it. So worth it. Oh man, how you doing? Did you know that just up ahead is the Kawanaka Island, where Takeda and Yasugi once waged a fierce battle? Rumor is that many of the fallen have been able to rest and continue to fight in pandemonium. Be careful, or you'll get dragged into the conflict. Fantastic. I don't really need to talk to you, old lady, even though I know exactly what you're going to do. We might as well get the... Ah, damn it. Come on. Fuck it. I'll spin it is. Damn it, I can't believe that. He's gonna blow up. Yeah, called it. There we go. Hopefully he dies. Nope. Ah. Uh, why game? Just why? <laughs> Uh, no, we want that next item, actually. We might as well just go to the cooking menu and just cook up whatever we can afford. 700, 600. Bag of rice, not enough. Damn! That's a lot of HPs. It also makes me sort of annoyed, because it's like, maybe I should just, um... Maybe I should have equipped it, um, the thing that gets better or more item drops. Where are you? Too far. I don't want that. Come on, come on. It's probably right next to the foot of a shrine too. And I probably jumped over it. Yeah, I did. Bag of rice. Fantastic. So we got a white, um, what do we call it? No, Oni. I'm not sure if, um, what do you call the word? If demon and Oni are the right, um, are uh, the same thing. As in, you wouldn't call a spirit and a demon the same thing in the same context. Ugh. Wow. There we go. Yeah, get wrecked. Whetstone. Ninja aren't they? Can't break you, barrier. Wait, 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 where are you? Monkey! Yeah, monkey, let's do it. I wonder if Momohime is here. Nope. Not even Yuzuriha. What a shame. What a shame. That's alright. That's alright. The 10 XP gain. I'm hoping it, it just levels me up that little bit faster. Um... Look at that. Chaos mask, okay. Oh, I can't I can't do the um dash. Obviously because we're not in combat. We want equipment. What is Chaos Mask? Tengu mask. That's actually pretty good, honestly. Um getting both. Actually, if we go into the forge, I'm pretty certain because we've leveled up, we can actually We can actually equip that sword. That is a far stronger sword, so... Uh, I don't think there's... 
Yeah, because we haven't got that one yet. 52, 55. I would rather that one, but I can actually use this, so 1,000 slashes. Let's go. What's our weakest blade? Blade of the Divine. We can actually equip Raging Inferno too, so... Frost Blade, unfortunately, Raging Inferno it is. Affects Spirit Erosion, any triple blaze. I don't think Fire is going to be particularly amazing in the next area, but Gale 2 is. Because Gale 1 is fantastic. Gale 2 is just an improved version of Gale 1. Which means I should, in theory, be killing things far quicker. Which, honestly, is fantastic for me. I'm actually happy to be killing things far quicker. So this is uh, uh, Shinanon. And we are going into Pandemonium. So, obviously... Yeah, take it, you Goombas. Yeah, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Holy shit. Wow, that was a lot of XP. Insane that I didn't get hit, so. So we are going into Pandemonium, which I'm assuming is the equivalent to English Hell, but as I said, I'm not familiar with what Pandemonium is. What? Why would you do that to me, you bastards? Let's do Gale 2. Yeah. Yup. Get wrecked, boy. Oh, so close. Definitely so close. Oh. A war that never ended, eh? Uh, since there are no items here, it's not, not really a... Wait, what the... Marksman? Seriously? And just get it. Yeah, get you. Awful, awful spirits. We want triple blaze. Wow. Deserve the worst. Wow. Oh, get wrecked, boys. So what I could do here is I could literally just wait for my blades to repair, which is what I intend to do. Because let's face it, I don't have to do squat. And my blades are just going to repair. Come on, come on. Halfway. Now there's a massive difference in Gale 2 between the rest. 200 damage. I know the others get up to 700. So it's not even the highest weapon I could even possibly use. But still. Um, that's quick draw available, I think. Yeah, we'll just keep going. I'm pretty certain we're going to get into two... A combat's here. Two lots of combat. Well, wow, look at that. One. Okay, that's easy. What we're gonna do is we're gonna swap into Triple Blaze. Yeah, Gale. That's irritating. Wait, are they. Yeah, I think they're both coming from the same place. Yeah. It's a bit odd how the AI overlaps the units. Like the units, uh, the enemy units themselves have no, they have a hitbox, but they don't have a collision. Ooh, item. Pheasant X4. Fuck yeah. Um, how far? Um, spirit. Haha, <laughs> you asshole. You can get wrecked. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, Ninja? Triple Blaze. I feel a little silly because I haven't actually used the ability for Triple Blaze. What are you gonna do, man? What are you gonna do? Wow, that's actually pretty good. Motherfucker. Can I jump down? No, I can't, so. Nope. Yeah, I get wrecked. I still get hit. I still get hit. Come on. Come on. What sort of insanity is that sort of shit? 
So that should be an item in this area. Easy as. That is just some next level BS. Like, oh, seriously? Okay, so we're up against you guys again. Uh, and I died. <laughs> Fantastic. So we lose the buff ninja arts, which is fine. Let's go, Gao. Gale is fantastic, I have to say that. This blade is just sick. It's just decimating people for no reason. I'm a little annoyed that I died to that and took no damage the second time. Hey, buddies. Oh, dead. Oh, so all dead. Yeah, no damage. Needs more bonuses for me. This is... Oh. Ah, always. Leveled up. Cool. Ah, seriously? We want triple A's. Yes, fantastic. Nope, we want down here. Come on, yeah, we go. Chaos belt, eh? Chaos belt. What would what would the chaos belt do? Uh, we want to. Oh, I just used an item. That was terrible. Chaos belt, so we're looking at what, five? Yep. Uh, Rice belt, not the end of the world. It's a shame I don't even have as much HP uh, before I equipped the thing mask yet. I shouldn't have triple blaze equipped um, when I feel as if Gale is far better. Uh, I changed my mind. <sighs> okay, they're probably in the same spot again. There we go. Fantastic. I feel as if this demon mask really was a great item to equip. Wonder if we got another little break in here? Nope. No more secret pheasants. But we So this this is uh where we enter pandemonium itself. This isn't a sort of a fun place to go. I'm pretty certain this is where we go into like a chamber of boss rooms. But nah, that's somewhere else. As the original battle of Kawanaka Island Alpha is bringing reinforcements to crush Hachim, Hachimanbara, yet we have not the strength to attack their flanks. Warriors loyal to the Kagami family are rushing to join us from the netherworld, guided by the power of this helm I wear, but they may arrive too late to help us. However, retreating now will only lead to other chaos. But if we press the attack, we will be outnumbered. What should our course of action be? To send a ninja in. How you doing, buddy? Enemy force is number close to 1,500 troops, while the princess only has 300 troops under her command. Fantastic. Achieving victory in battle is more... It is about more than your numbers. If we unite and attack as one, our courage and skill will surely overcome the enemy's numbers. Oh jeez. I come with a report. Forces of pandemonium are making their way to this encampment with their general at the front forefront at the charge. Cool. Torohime, what you got to say, girl? 
gone. Yeah, we got that. Any normal person would be going insane right now due to the bloodlust choking the air. Good thing you had that priest put a protective charm on you. Kisuke, why did you come here? You're acting rashly again. It's because I took the sword that, you, that you're in this mess. There was no way I was going to sit back and watch while you risked your life. How lovely. Come on, last man. Well. What are you doing here? This is no place for any human. Just breathing the air here is enough to drive one such as yourself inside. I feel a little dizzy, like I've stayed in the bath too long. But I think the spirit of that Oboro guy is protecting me from the worst evil. That's cool. No, we won't proceed just yet. Can we not kind of not menu? Shame, I was gonna double check the, the swords. That's fine. Princess, you shouldn't let yourself get so worked up. The enemy's can and you to become irrational. The curtain won't rise until the actors come on stage. If the enemy is using the strategy from the first Cub One Naka battle, then we know what's coming next. Staying with the theater theme, their general will cut his way through the front lines, then and demand a duel. I'll be taking the lead role in place of the princess. Fantastic. <laughs> that is Chiguri Bishamon. Those far away listen to my voice. Those nearby watch with your eyes. I, Chiguri Bishamon, a general of pandemonium, challenge the leader to a duel. Though I strike you, though I strike you, but through eyes of my blade, you shall feel the sting of seven blows. Now, well, fair enough. How you doing, buddy? Where are you? That is why Gale 2 is fantastic. Wow. What the hell? Let's just do it again. Oh, damn. We need white lightning. I'm so glad that I can just dodge all the arrows. Let's change over to Meteor. That was unfortunate. Bust. He seems really unnecessarily easy, but I say that. Uh, I could have actually blocked that. Cool, now we know I shouldn't be special about my attacks. She does more to hits. Holy shite. He was far easier than I thought he would be. And I got a butt fuck ton of experience. So the Bizenno Sufane Kane Mitsu. Blueberries, eh? Crazy. Such humiliation. I know you naught of the suffering that we of the pandemonium us endure, must endure with this last blow and damn you to wander the four paths of evil. Lovely. Bastard attacking me from behind like that, cutting me across the back. I must look pathetic, like I was trying to run away or something. You know, the way we are now, it's just like that night in Narakami. Do you think this is a trick as well? I had my reasons then too. Stop, we need not say anything more. No longer bear any ill will. Look, the enemy is totally lost without that general. Get out of here while you still can. Kisuke, Kisuke, stay with me. No, the bleeding won't stop. Anyone, is there anyone that can help? Anyone? 
Hey, hey, look at that. Fox lady. Uh, what do we call her again? Um, oh, jeez, how can I? Um, yeah. What's going on here? What happened to Torihime? We're such vigor. Is, is it safe to assume that our lord Inari's medicine was effective? I'm happy to see that you're beginning to regain your strength. The princess was quite worried about you, but she felt compelled to leave, though she begged me to care for you. Sorry about taking off without thinking you properly used it, huh? But after hearing that you just said, I have to get going. Hey, look at the little kitsune. What are you doing, little one? Where exactly are we? As your life is in danger, we had little choice but to bring you here. We call this place Fox Manor, though it's little more than a hovel we use to fool gullible humans. I advise you not to touch even a lowly piece of marshy here. Oh yeah, and we got a new blade too, which is cool as. Now pay heed to my words. Long ago, dogs and foxes engaged in a bit of feud. During the Muromachi period, Lord Inari stripped away all of the in, in, Inugami. Inugami. Oh, I know Inu is dog, but I don't know what Gami is. Enraged, Inugami became a dark god and brought chaos to the world. The swordsmith Murumana was asked to forge a blade which the insane god could be sealed. As you may have surprised, uh, surmised the blade, the Kuzuryu Muramasa was the one entrusted to the Nogami clan. It is believed to be devastatingly powerful. My lord Inari is filled with sadness that he had to bestow such a fate. But for now, we must put such feelings aside to make haste to the sacred Mount Fuji. Cool. Uh, where are we exactly? So we cleared that dungeon. We get to keep going to Kai. That's cool. Equipment. Which is the weakest one? Raging Inferno. And I have the stats to equip it. That's fantastic. Um, I'm surprised that uh, we got away with nothing out of that. Oh, I could actually equip that. I don't really want that. Um, I'm still sort of gimped because I haven't got this blade yet. What else could I get? That is probably worth getting later, not now. Well, we definitely get into the bottom of the pile. 180 focus slash 2. Moon, soon blade, eh? Let's have a look. Longsword. Um, it's definitely better. 1000 slashes. Uh, Bizeno Safune Kane Emitsu. Um, fantastic. So now we just get to run through to Kai, which, if I take a look at the map, which honestly, probably a great idea. I have no idea where we're going from Kai. I actually have the map for Kai. That's freaking awesome. But we're probably going to go through to um, Suruga, which is here. And then go down to Izu. Maybe? Seriously? Gale to... Oh, you butthole. I leveled up, that's cool. Wow, they must be giving me bulky XP. Yep, bulky XP. Which one is stronger? Is it Tempest? Nah, it's still... Actually, no, it's probably worth... Wow. Tempest is not stronger. I was 100% wrong on that. Oh, I like doing that. What assholes. There's more. Seriously. Yeah, look at that. Pain's mirror. Should probably definitely change over to Gale. Bastards. Bloody bastards. That's alright. It's not the end of the world. Dun, do, do. There's only two, I think there's only, if I'm not mistaken, there's only two more barriers that that are possible to block our path. So, I've effectively gone through maybe a little over half. Yeah, sweet, I was right about that. Um, Kuruga is our next target. 
Which is pretty cool, to be 100% honest. Oh. Uh, it's probably actually down here. No. And it's up high? Yeah, it is up high. Uh, what was that Suma Orange? Yeah, I'm probably gonna get hit here for a combat. Oh, that's awesome. No combat. Fuck yeah. Um, nope. I do like the whole fact that this little the world has such... What does Focus Ash do? Oh, it's actually very... Wow. Let's go back to Gale. Yeah, boys. Might as well just use it. Sort of needed to. What assholes. That's alright. Sort of deserve it. I do like this world just has little stuff hidden everywhere. Um. Come on, don't jump like that. You. I wish I had, um. The sensitivity control. I just don't have it. Uh, what have we got? Seriously? Seriously? I just get fucking wrecked. <laughs> Fantastic. Come on, Ninja, I'll take you all on. You can all suck some. Oh, Tempest is so much better. It's Gale 2.0. Yeah, get wrecked, boys! That's freaking awesome. Ah. So if I had to guess, and my guess is probably right, there's actually a ravine in this part here, which will cause us, if we fall... Yeah. Yep. Called it. Called it. Um. Wait a sec. Souls. Ah, uh, nope. So it's probably either in the middle or the end. Come on, I believe in you. Long levity, eh? Relax, eh? Uh, what are you doing? Use it here. Torahime is on her way to lay lie. Of sacred Mount Fuji in order to disrupt the flow of energy, the barrier surrounding Hido. According to the same source, Torahimi and her army dispelled the ward blocking Suruga. For your purposes, however, one road is as good as another. So, always encourage people to save. That's one thing I do like about this game. The save times are fantastic. Like, there's no sort of fart assing around. Seriously? Uh, What are you gonna do about it, you? Wow, he's doing 500 damage, man. Wow, I just deserve to be shot. I misplayed that so hard. I feel as if I need um. Can you go down? You can't go down. That's, um, I suppose if you had more than two directional control. Oh, no, I'm not using, I'm using Gale. Oh, silly me. I was thinking I was using, um, Tempest. Uh, we actually do want to go here. So, obviously we don't have the ability to break down that white barrier and attend that trial, which is fine, it's not. Come on, we can do it. Most, oh, they all died. Fuck yeah. Fuck you. That 10% extra XP is coming in handy. I feel it's the only reason why we've leveled up so far so quickly. Like, I think we'd be maybe two levels behind. Monkey, where are you, monkey? Yeah, monkey! How you doing, buddy? Mamahime? Yeah, I was right this time. Ha, <laughs> she's afraid. 
You again, it's kind of funny how much we both see each other. That seems to like hot springs. Are you on tour of the country's hot springs or something? And it's probably best that I don't ask your name. I need to tense up because I'm a guy and besides, you're way too skinny for me. How dare you. <laughs> it's funny because when we get to play Mamahime, we get to see sort of her sort of responses to that. Uh, that's funny. She's, um... Her story is actually... I actually like Mamahime's story. I think it's fantastic. Um... Honestly, it's just something different in a way that you're just not expecting. Oh, Tengu, my old rivalry, rivalry with you. Damn it. Yeah, Bronze Mirror, even though I don't care for it at all. I still got hit. Just what kind of bullcrap was that? So we are heading to... We're probably going to go to Izu, actually, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, no, we're going to go into a dungeon. So to finish off this episode, even though I have no idea how long it's been going for, solely because uh, I think the first 20 minutes of, the, of this, whatever this recording was is probably not going to end up getting shown. Probably because uh, I stuffed up that one that one place with all the freaking toads. Like, in saying that, I probably now am strong enough to... Yeah, probably strong enough to take him on. And I have better abilities. Like, uh, Tempest is far stronger... Uh, far strong enough. Is far stronger than what I was originally using. I do like the beaches, though. They are pretty cool. If not... There's not that much there. Oh, come on, back into the limelight. There we go. Fantastic. Give me the goods. So, I, I haven't commented on it because every time I think about it, I sort of sort of don't realize. But the way Kisuke does his... Um, what would you call it? Quick draw. That is good. You want... Uh, cabbage. Tofu. Dried tofu. Pheasant. Why not? Wow, this place is huge. Um, sort of wasn't expecting it to be this big. Uh, Kisuke does his sort of finishing animation. Just think like the way Cloud does his. It's it does the big slash uh, forward and backwards. Kisuke's is so so much cooler than what Cloud's is. But at the same time, I'm thinking a katana is curved. There is no way you could do that. At, like at all. Um, like straight up, I could, can't think of a way that you could flick the sheath up and somehow get it through because the blade is curved you would have such a hard time at trying to achieve that what do we got we might as well get um oh you goomba ninjas you never stop hey eh? yeah tempest i'm tempted to equip the quick draw because i know how useful quick draw can be but at the same time, it's not as good as the experience buff that we get, the 10% experience buff we get. I just want the item near. Um, um, knowing my luck, it's probably here, yeah. Found my amulet. Cool. Just clearing the world of treasures. Which is not always the easiest thing to do. Like, I tried doing that in The Witcher. It is just nuts. And in some cases, not actually possible. I know one of my save files in which it actually glitched out on me in one place. It's such a shame too. Because I didn't even realize it. And then you've gone too far so you can't reload the save. And it's like, ah, such a shame. That, that is one thing I have noticed about this game. There aren't that many glitches. In fact, it's pretty much glitch free to my knowledge. Unlike um, Destiny 2 last night. Something must have happened when I was on the servers, uh, to the servers, 
And what ended up happening was me and a mate were doing a, a nightfall run. Uh, like a, not the one we were meant to do, but like uh, for whatever mission. And it booted, it must have booted everyone from the server, but didn't close the instances immediately. And so what ended up happening is we quickly jumped back into a, a different uh, nightfall mission and nothing had spawned at all. Um, everything had been finished. So someone must have gone to the very, very end of the nightfall, was taking on the boss. And we came into that instance um, before it had closed down, I guess the best word. I don't actually know how the right terminology for that. And so we managed to run through an entire nightfall that we hadn't actually started ourselves. And then uh, to take on the final boss. But we noticed one thing that happened. The final boss in that uh, nightfall glitched out. And so me, my mate, and a random, uh, my, I no told my mate, oh, we better suicide because then it respawns and the boss respawns. We'll respawn, the boss respawns. So as my, my mate dies, the other guy must have caught on really quickly and he ends up suiciding too, which I thought was was really, really smart because obviously the guy had been playing for a while if he'd known sort of what our strategy was. Like, you know, uh, monkey see, monkey do. Like, oh, look, if he's doing that, yep, I know exactly why. And so he suicides and I suicide. And then all of a sudden the boss just respawns. So we managed to get through an entire um, uh, nightfall only having to take on the boss solely because um, uh, the, there was an instance, uh, everyone was booted from the server and the instance was still open, which I think is, it's funny and sad, like it stuffed us up in our own nightfall, which I uh, wasn't particularly impressed with, but at the same time, considering we got to run through another one, um, uh, scot-free, essentially. What the? I'm looking for that treasure and I couldn't find it. But if if I'm right, which I probably am, that means someone else is unfortunate because they will have missed out on um, their own instance, on finishing their own instance uh, of a nightfall, and we got to um, carry on theirs. So to that person, if you ever hear this message, those three guys, sorry. <laughs> Nothing I could do about it. Where is this buddy? Turn that off. I wonder where it is. Because I just can't seem to see it. I know there's a treasure here. I'm in the room. Um, seriously? Oh wow, that was a lot of damage. Come on. Yeah, die, Tango. There we go. Such an annoyance. So if I wonder what's up here then. I don't think there's anything over here. I can't see it on the ground either. Just as I talking about glitches. I can't find something, and they're usually pretty easy to find. Can't see anything shiny or. Huh. Oh, right there. Wow. Dragon necklace. Okay. We've got the tunnel belt. Not worth it. Dragon necklace. Full immunity to all afflictions. That's fantastic. And we already know about the Blade Master's Scabbard. Wow, that's awesome. I mean, that's awesome if you're going up against enemies that you know are going to have um, multiple ways to screw you over. I think that's the real joy of using it. Or it's just so multi-purpose that it's... Um... Yeah, look at that. That. Sorry boys, you are not worth my time. Wow. Wow. Get my ass handed to me. That is all I'm gonna say. Yeah, look at that.
that. Sorry about my quad. Awesome. So, knowing my luck, there's probably no encounter here. Long, long, long. It's a longevity? Flexor. So, what have we got here? It's a. F oh man, this is going to be a, not a small dungeon. Or a small area, is it? Ah, damn it. Damn it, I was hoping this would be a shorter episode than some of the others. Because, let's face it, some of these have been quite ridiculously long. But, what else? What else? I'll try my best to get there as quick as possible. You can definitely see this. This game is quite expansive. Uh, nope. No. <laughs> uh, fair enough. Yeah, get wrecked. No, your shit. Yeah, look at that. Long, longevity it looks like. Outplay, boys. Nope. There's one more. Tempest. Wow, because they were down that I don't get affected. That's super annoying. The hitbox on the fire is pretty bad, too, because you could definitely see I was too close. It's definitely... Like, we were talking about bugs. I was talking about bugs just before, and you can see they're definitely... It's not a bug, but it's definitely... Fucking ninjas, man. Just fucking ninjas, like, really. But you can definitely see... Okay. Okay, that's, um... Mantis 6. Oh, actually, why not just go to the forge? Uh, 70. What do we got? That one's not worth it. Ah, uh, so, actually, I will mention this. So, for example, if I hadn't got this one, but I have this one, I actually can't get this one. I actually did ch test that out, um, before. Fully sick, boys. Power oh, Stormblade. The ability isn't that great, to be 100% fair. Um, focus Slash. Uh, good. Dragonfly 2 isn't, um, it isn't something that I would turn around and be like, yeah man, that's great. 7 damage. Uh, four, ah, come on, I was trying to block. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Oh, actually there is, a, oh sweet. Oh, come on! Uh, there we go. It's such a fucking annoying little thing. Uh, I still don't even know what that demon is called, the, the hairball demon. Um, I'm hoping that's actually what it actually is. I would look really stupid if it wasn't. Um, Sweet, this is the right way to go. Oh uh, yeah. Not really worth it. Cool. Wonder why I'm not taking as much damage as I thought I would. How about boys? I wonder if we're gonna run into Yuki on here. Called it. What the hell? They give so much EXP to you. like what the hell? Just what the hell? That's probably the best grinding spot. Find Yukiana. Boom, done, problem solved. Shit. <laughs> Just shit. Come on. Yeah, 
get wrecked, boys. Get wrecked, boys. That's one thing I don't actually understand, is the actual bonuses at the end. Come on. Come on. There we go. She did. She did. Well, actually, I actually don't know. Is a Yuki on actually dead? Um, is it... Because you've got undead, obviously, and then you've got demons, and they're not necessarily undead. I don't know the answer to that. I don't know at all. Come on. Yes. Wow, <laughs> I deflected one. Gets hit. Yeah, I have no idea what causes any of the bonus experience. None at all. Oh, come on. I'm only wanting to take them on because I know that if I don't, uh, I'm missing out on so much experience. Oh, get wrecked. <laughs> get shit on. <laughs> oh. And they already look like they're trying to seduce someone too, like... Wow. Very breast-heavy, exposed and everything. Not even mad, honestly. Definitely one of the more interesting depictions of a yuki on. Okay, any more radishes? What is this? Come on, I'll take you all on. Look at that, the boobs even jiggle, like, you can... I don't particularly intend to be considered a pervert, but fuck me dead. Hey, look at that. You hit them once, and you can literally see it, everything jiggle. I have to say, the true masters of jiggle physics are the Japanese. They know where it's at. <laughs> oh, so bad in so many ways, but... Yes! Yes! I don't have to put up with any of that shit. So this is going to be the last part of the episode. Solely because it has been... It's actually been a fair, um... A fairly long one. Uh, can I get anything more useful? Nah, you're kind of blocking me there. I could do that, but... I could do that. That is called the uh, Sanctified Blade. Do I even have enough strength for that? Ah, uh, strength. Uh, spirit. You got the Obstructed Torrent. Oh, I do. Oh, that's fantastic. And the uh, Bridge of Lament. That is freaking awesome. What's the weakest blade? Gale, you have to go, son. Wait, Sanctified Blade? Yeah, it wasn't that strong, so... Moon Blade, not that good. Absorb Life, which one's the better one? Oh, well, they both are. I'm probably going to have to replace, um... Yeah, I'll get rid of Dragonfly, too. Wow, this is going to be one hell of a, um... Oh, look at that. Oh, is this what we take on the dragon? Maybe it is. Kisuke, surely you sense it as well. The suffocating miasma of madness that's choking the air is unnatural. The dragon god who watches over the world from atop sacred Mount Fuji would normally not allow such a thing to happen. How are we doing, buddy? What Kisuke, is it you? I had no doubt that you would come. Allow me to apologize for my failings. Forgive me for what I said before. <laughs> uh, we will bear the shame and disgrace of our failure for eternity. We will return from the realm of the dead only to leave Lady Torahime to face her own alone. Impaled with arrows only, and with only a broken blade in my hand. Nearly standing is beyond my strength. Come on. Minion number three. 
this can't be happening. Every one of the warriors who came here was overcome and defeated. Did the dragon god really do all this? A thousand armed forces were tossed aside helpless in every way. The dragon, protected by the scales like steel, repelled our blades. It can't. It comes. Torohime, how you doing? I'm responsible for bringing so much suffering and misery to those around me. None of this would have happened had I not asked for their aid. Every time when we tried to push through the barrier more, my soldiers fell. After coming all this way, I've done nothing more than put everybody in harm's way. Regardless of how you feel, at least try to look brave. If the general looks like she's about to burst out in tears, this battle is as good as lost, and don't worry about me. No matter how badly I get hurt, I'll be able to ignore the pain if I'm fighting for you. I don't plan on dying, guys. That thing's right. Oh, what a love stroke fool! Now we get to take on this thunder god. Thunder dragon. Dragon god who rules atop sacred Mount Fuji. Please calm yourself. I am Yuzuriha of Fushimi. He comes on behalf of Lord Inari. I ask that you compose yourself and listen to my plea. Get back, Yuzuriha. You won't hear anything you say right now. The only way to get through to someone that enraged is with the sound beating. Man, the number of times that has probably been used as an excuse over the age. I can feel a surge of power running through my body. It's time to show you this overgrown blind the destructive power of the Oboro style. So, I'm pretty certain... You butthole. Dark Cross. I don't know what Dark Cross does. Come on. That's right, one of my blades has absorbed life. Oh, we want Tempest. Stuff it. Man, this is fantastic. I feel as if I'm somewhat cheesing this boss, but... Oh shit. Ugh. Yeah. Outplayed. Dark Cross. I wonder what it does. Wow. I deserve to get here. Okay, so we want to pass him in. Shit. Shit. Wow. I'm getting my ass handed to me. That is so bad. Come on. Come back, fullness. Ah. Come on, Earth Power. Earth Power is not particularly strong, not to my knowledge. Not against this boss, but... Wow. Come on. Try to jump. Yeah, boys. Uh, that's wrong. Um, let's run Tempest. Ah, oh, shit. That is not what I want to see. Passing in. Okay, so he's doing it again. Ooh, better probably should adjust my chair, just so that I don't. Motherfucking Passing in. Come on, we can do it. Gonna get hurt. Gonna get hurt. Damn it. Sort of have to stay away in the dark areas. Wow, this is just ridiculous. It might even be worth me, um. Oh shit. <laughs> the shame you can't actually hit him with any sort of. Uh, any one of those moves. Ah! Got complacent. Fuck you, dragon asshole. Come on, we can do it. Yeah, look at that. I <sighs> do not approve. Typical. Come 
Come on. Okay, do I have any sort of heal? That's the best I got. Oh, nope, dead. I might have to have more healing in my bottom shortcut, because I'm sort of out. Um, that's great. Don't really want white lightning. Less soccer? That's terrible. Um, long livity? Long, longevity. Oh, you are a... I've already done the best I could do with the forge. I could increase my maximum HP and go for something that would reduce... Could do that. Don't need that. I already have that equipped. I don't care for increasing the damage by 5%. Maybe it might be better to have Quick Draw on this. <laughs> Cooking. My health just fucking goes up by 1,000. Fantastic. Um, what else do I That should be enough. Hey, dragon boy. Come on. Because quick draw will eliminate the fire from the area. Seriously? Come on. Come on, I believe in you. Can I dart cross in the air? No, I can't. It's not that particularly good either. Not good, not good. We want Tempest. Did I get hit then? Come on. Stop it. Yeah, look at that. Seriously? Alright, we're gonna die across. Damn it. Put a passman on. Okay. I don't think we can stop those balls, which is somewhat annoying. That is definitely one way to be annoying. Seriously? Ah, come on, don't be like that. Ugh, mother fucking... We'll go along, nobody. Ah, damn it, I did it too early. Oh, I didn't have a blade, so I just took all the damage straight up. Come on, don't be like that, you bloody bad guy. Oh, we do this again, eh? Come on, I believe in you. What the shit? That is so annoying. Come on. Oh, I don't have anything. Come on, must run. 
You know what? You know how we solve this? We use a wet stone. That way at least I can come back to it. Come on. Yeah, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Yeah, I'm gonna dodge it. <laughs> That's me getting wrecked. Oh, shit. Yeah, look at that. Tempest, so strong. Ah, uh, it was a little premature, but... Ah, uh, we'll go Dark Cloud. Dark, Dark Cloud, wrong thing. Dark Cross. Yes! Yes! Fantastic. I'm a little annoyed that I had to use, um... I had to have so much HP, but... It's probably better to do it this way than any other time. Weasel on the win, eh? Cool. Kick ass. Purple barriers. The only one left is white. Mm. These steel scales of mine Dude, might as well have been tofu when cut me. by a true Muramasa blade. However, such a thrashing. Uh, however, after such a thrashing, my mind is now clear. Servant of the Fox God, I have humiliated myself in front of you. Humans have been erecting barriers throughout the land, changing the flow of the flows of energy. Even now, the ley lines that run through this region are about to burst and dissipate. The thought of such a thing happening enraged me beyond all reason. The ley lines that still hold now flow into a single man-made seal near Edo Castle. The energy accumulated there is sufficient to shake the foundation of the universe. How fantastic. How is actually... That's the thing that I like about this game. It's not as, say, great as, say... Uh, what's the, it's the teacup cuphead? But at the same time, it's still pretty decent. I think cuphead was is a far better game in terms of difficulty and originality. But this one... It's probably not a close second, but it is still pretty good. Just not in comparison to Cuphead. Hey, the difference between victory and defeat comes down to luck. And no matter how many times you've lost before, you can't win if you don't keep playing. Gisya, thank you. After the oath I swore to the Lord Buddha, I cannot fault him out. To let everybody down would be unforgivable. Hey, dragon. I will forgive you for heating the fox and damaging my scales. The Abora Star. I am surprised that a mere mortal was able to harm me, so I wish to apologize to you, Torahime. I would le lend you my strength, but if I do not focus on maintaining the ley lines, Fuji will erupt in a fiery cataclysm. Once the power of the lines diminishes, the various wards in the land will fail. When the barriers around either weaken, perhaps an entrance will be revealed. How fascinating. Oh... The Inugami manipulate, manipulated the ley lines of the world in order to force open Heaven's Gate. It's my thought that he wishes to reclaim true divinity. As he is still sealed in the blade, oh, I see no other way for him to ascend to Heaven, where the gods dwell and regain his strength by breathing in, breathing the sacred air. The cursed godling must not be allowed to regain his powers. There's no telling what miseries will be inflicted upon the world should he succeed. Fantastic. Now it's my turn to charge into the fray, so keep any objection to yourself, okay? I'll distract everyone by running a mark through the castle. While I'm wrecking habit to Rahime, you rush in behind me to avoid having to deal with any cannon fodder. We will meet again over the Shogun's severed head. There's no possibility of either of us leaving the castle alive. So why are you willing to do all this for me, Kisuke? Ass. Really, really good ass. <laughs> I have no problem putting my neck on the headsman's block for you, Tarahime. If you're going to die, I want to be there by your side until the very end. Hey, look at that. So we are going... We are backtracking. And if I'm not mistaken, I think we are going to end up on... No. I don't think we're going there. I think we're going all the way back over to here. To Yamashiro. But I won't know until the next episode. Solely because I just have no idea. 
So we end up getting... Well, not the Ferret Blade. Oh, we end up getting this one. Uh, the Weasel of Winds. So we do have the strength equipped that it is a strong weapon. And it has four um, Kamaitachi, which is a good ability, in my opinion. Um, which means the next one is that one, which will be super good. Yeah. So I think the next Super Blade we get for beating a boss is this one. Which will be fine, but... Considering, uh, I think I'm using this one. Yeah, it's nowhere near as strong as some others, that's for certain. Uh, actually... I think, yeah, I might be definitely getting this one next. And then going down this tree to obviously get this lovely blade. I don't think it's worth getting anything under ballpark figure. Uh, 80 vitality or strength it just isn't worth it at this point in time. So next episode we will start in a place we haven't seen and then move on to finish. Actually, I, I think there's only two more bosses left because if we go to abilities, um, there's only the last barrier sword we need and then um, obviously the only thing left we need is uh, to finish the game. So the, it should only take one or two more episodes to finish Kisuke's section. And then what I might do is I might run through cleaning up dungeons. Those little uh, hidden places that are in the trees. The sealed in the trees. Hopefully that'll get all the accessories and equipment. But the more important thing is if you actually take a look at the forge. Um, if this is our uh, last blade we're going to get on but I think this one is the final boss and I think one of these two is also a final boss but uh, so we've still got heaps and heaps of blades to make I think how many have I made I, it just tells me if I save it um, 31 so I'm only a third of the way through the blades so by finishing all the extra dungeons I will have enough experience uh, souls and what's the other one I need uh, souls and spirit to be able to forge the rest of the blades and the reason you want to do that is because there's three separate endings to this game for each well for each character and so the only way to get the second ending and the third ending is to actually have finished the second character's playthrough as well because you finish the game to get the first ending the second ending you need a specific number uh, specific order of swords and I think the third one is no different as well, if I'm not mistaken. So that's why I will probably end up finishing the random stuff. Um, achievement wise, the, there's only two that I haven't done, which is finish the game on the, um, what do you call it? Not getting killed, or you have one HP run, and then to finish the game within three hours, which neither I intend to do. Um, I just don't have this skill for it, unfortunately. So I won't be showing off them, but after that, then we'll move on to the DLC, which I've never played. So that'll be super awesome. Anyway, like always, I just ramble on at the end of the episode, so take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.